With an average weight of 70 kilograms or 150 pounds and a length of 2.6 meters, these monsters have no problem standing up to anything that crosses their path. They are ambush hunters. They bite their prey viciously, release, and settle back for a bask. Later, they pursue the scent trail of blood and their own saliva. They can spend days plodding along, swinging their tongues and tasting the air until they reach the unfortunate victim. By that time, the critter is very, very sick or dead from sickness and blood loss. Then, they eat the helpless prey, alive or dead. Their main weapon is saliva, which is so saturated with toxins and bacteria that even a buffalo would be dead within a day. The only way one can survive is if they are incredibly powerful. Even the Komodo dragon won't stand a chance against them because of its sheer power. Immune to Venom Deadly venoms have no effect on them, thanks to its armor and strong immune system. Ambush Predators The Komodo dragon won't even notice them. They can stalk for hours and just when the dragon lets his guard down, they will strike a deadly blow. We've collected some animals that possess these properties and can manage to kill a Komodo dragon in a death matchup. Bear in mind, most of these matchups are impossible, as the two animals may live in completely different habitats. Crocodile Crocodiles are without a doubt the most dangerous predator on planet Earth. Animals only survive crocodile attacks if they are powerful enough to disrupt the attack or powerful enough to get the jump on the croc first. Assuming a full-grown Nile or saltwater crocodile, the Komodo dragon fails on all fronts. If we look at hunting strategies, the Komodo tracks their prey by scent, while crocodiles use the element of surprise. Komodos do this as well. But the crocodile does this effectively on both land and water, and has perfected this method. Crocodiles have mastered the strike, and can do this in a split second. There's absolutely no doubt this strike is far superior performed by a crocodile than a Komodo. Crocodiles are also apparently largely immune to snake venom, making it unlikely that the venomous bite of a Komodo dragon would do it much harm. They also have aggressive immune systems that attack bacteria as soon as it is discovered by the body, meaning the bacteria Komodo dragons inject are not likely to do much. But the bone-crushing bites of crocodiles will be too much for the Komodo to handle. A Komodo dragon, in short, would be death rolled and being drowned before it even knew what hit it. King Cobra The King Cobra is the longest venomous snake in the world. Its bite delivers a tremendous amount of paralysis-inducing neurotoxins. The snake's venom is so strong and so venomous that it can kill an elephant in just a few hours. King Cobras have fangs fixed to the top jaw at the front of the mouth, and using these fangs, they inject their deadly venom into the prey's body. However, dragon's tough skin might stop the fangs from penetrating deep enough to inject the venom. And even if the fangs were able to penetrate the tough skin of the dragon, the dragons are known to be immune against cobra venom. It would have ample opportunity to not only kill the cobra, but eat it as well and eating a king cobra will surely kill the dragon as well. Big Cats It's quite obvious that tigers and lions are the only big cats that stand a chance against Komodo dragons. Lions and tigers hunt differently. Lions hunt in groups. The females go hunting, while the male snoozes in the sun, looking majestic and shooing flies. Tigers are always almost solitary. Tigers ambush prey from behind, try to break the spine with one bite, and bite until the prey stops fighting. So having set the scene, assuming that the attacker finds the dragon a suitable prey, or the dragon ambushes the cat. If it is a lion, the lioness would immediately attack the dragon. The battle will continue for a few minutes, but will lead to the dragon's death. These lionesses will also be dead because of eating the dragon's carcass. For the tiger, the same deal jumps on the dragon, has trouble with the armored neck, gets bitten a few times, kills the dragon. If the tiger wasn't injured badly, it tries to get a meal from the dragon's carcass and licks its wounds, ingesting enough dragon saliva to infect. Dies slowly over the next few days. 
In both the cases, the big cats will die as well. Indian Crested Porcupine Both of these animals have powerful defensive body. The porcupine's sharp quills, protected from any attacks, and can also serve as a powerful weaponry. It's true that Komodos have a thick and tough skin, but still, the porcupine's quills can easily pierce through the Komodo's body. Therefore, the Komodo won't even think to attack the porcupine, knowing the deadly blow it can deliver. But if it manages to get a bite in, the porcupine would be dead. But still, the Komodo dragon would get badly injured in this process, which could lead to its death. Also, a Bengal tiger was found with quills that had pierced its heart and killed it. So against Komodo dragons, they stand a good chance. Elephant If the African elephant had the intention of killing the Komodo dragon quickly and it was on open ground with no hiding place, the dragon would likely be squished under the elephant's foot in the first round. If the elephant could not determine where the Komodo dragon is, which is very unlikely as the elephant would be able to smell its breath, and the dragon managed to ambush the elephant with a bite to the leg, it is possible a resulting infection could lead to the elephant's eventual death. Komodo still might get squished shortly after sinking its teeth in. The elephant has a huge advantage in size, strength, weight, and intelligence. It is not clear how deadly a Komodo's bite would be to an elephant. We know a dragon can kill a deer or a water buffalo, but an elephant has much thicker skin, and its leg girth would be harder to get a mouth around. Anaconda With an average length of 6 meters and a top length of 8.8 .8 meters, the green anaconda is one of the longest snakes in the world. Green anacondas are also known to prey on caimans and can even kill a jaguar. Anacondas are stronger than Komodo dragons in terms of their structures and appearance, while Komodo dragons are also powerful as their bite is harmful and poisonous rather than anacondas. Both anacondas and Komodo dragons are capable of killing each other. The Komodo dragon attacks on anaconda and bites it. The anaconda will die within 24 hours due to the venom injected in its body. But if the Komodo doesn't manage to get a bite, it would be constricted to death. The whole Komodo dragon would then be eaten at once by the anaconda, which would lead to the anaconda's death as well. Honorable mentions. Honey badgers also have an aggressive immune system against deadly bacteria and snake venoms. So, if they were to come across a smaller Komodo dragon, then due to its excellent fighting technique and incredibly defensive body, the honey badger could beat the Komodo dragon. But, if it's a full-grown Komodo dragon, then the badger would easily get defeated. And many other factors like humans, smaller poisonous animals, or another Komodo can lead to its death. So that's all for now. What are you waiting for? Subscribe to Amazing World for more amazing animal videos every weekend.